That's what you hear when you turn on the CRX, the latest 3D printer from Creality 3D. Is it all it's cracked up to be? Is the dual extrusion worth it? Does it do a good job printing things? Let's talk about that right here on 3D Printing Nerd. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've shot this video like seven times and I just can't seem to get my thoughts out on it. Compare, or, <clears throat> must be the heat. Special, and it, what, I, even with a script, dude, and it's only, uh, <clears throat> I don't get it. I'm gonna start again, Sean. Sorry, Sean. Let's hope this one goes better and you'll probably guess why when I talk about it at the end, but uh, let's get to it. The CRX is very similar to the CR10 in that it has a 300 by 300 by 400 on the Z build volume. Unlike the CR10 though, the base is enclosed and all the electronics are in this sheet metal base right here. It's really heavy and if I throw it at you, it's really gonna hurt. The touchscreen is also new up at the front. The touchscreen performs really well and it recognizes every time I touch it and a stylus is not needed. The bed is a glass bed, but it includes this, this silicone, I think, texture to it, and it's kind of nice. So as you're printing, the pieces stick to it, and then once it cools down and contracts, the piece pops off. I assume it's kind of like any Cubic Ultra base. It just, it works really well. I would use this on other machines. The most conspicuous new part of this machine, though, is the dual extruder. So each one takes 1.75 millimeter filament, and it feeds it through the Bowden tubes to this Y splitter right here, and then out the single nozzle at the bottom. Having a single nozzle really helps for leveling the bed because you only have one nozzle to level. However, bed level is a little off because the UI on the touchscreen does help you in finding the places to move the nozzle to in order to do a paper leveling. But for me, when I leveled the four corners and then the fifth spot being in the middle of the bed, it was too close to the extruder. I think Creality could really use like a BL touch and some mesh bed leveling on this machine. I think that would go a long way. Prints from this machine look decent. There's a pangolin, a vase, a gift wrap package, the benchy, and a butterfly. These were all demo G codes on the SD card. The printer did a decent job with them. It's not like anything is exquisite. And these are the demo files, so they should showcase the best possible prints that this printer is able to make. They don't, they just, they look decent. They're, they're unremarkable, except for the benchy. It has a layer shift, it's bad. The part that concerns me about this machine isn't necessarily the upgrades or the changes that need to be made. It's Creality treating these pre-release users like beta testers, and I don't think that's okay. As an example, the touchscreen itself works well, but none of these files are found on the touchscreen until you take the SD card to a computer and you move all of the G code to the root of the SD card. That touchscreen can only see G codes in the root. If they're in a folder on the SD card, it won't see them ever. Another example would be leveling the bed. The bed itself, when it came, when my wife and I uh, unboxed it on the stream, it was nearly as high as it could go. And in order to level the bed, I had to unscrew some of the leveling nuts to almost until they were falling off because it needed to be that high. I thought I should move the Z limit switch. Then the nozzle could come down a little bit and I could compress the springs a little bit and it would be a better situation all around. But the limit switch is attached to a piece of acrylic and that piece of acrylic is meant to not move ever. In order to move the limit switch, I thought I'd be sneaky and I'd snap off some of that acrylic and I would make it so I could put it lower. And I thought I defeated the system and I thought I won until the machine started making a horrific noise. And that's because this bracket right here hits the Z motor bracket. Yeah, so you can't lower the nozzle. Actually, I did. I lowered it about a millimeter. That's not enough, and I, but I was able to compress the springs a little bit. But come on, Creality. I mean, did anybody test this at all? Did anybody in the company actually attempt to print the files on the SD card? Did anybody in the company attempt to level these beds? Did anybody? do anything quality related to this machine. It's like someone at Creality or a team of people had a really good idea and they started sketching it up and they started planning it and they started implementing it and they got about 80% of the way there, maybe 81% of the way there. And then they said, ah, pencils down, let's ship it. I'm not gonna review this machine. It's already different than what Creality announced in their video. 
in the video, Creality said it has two lead screws, but one Z motor, and there is a belt at the top that connects the lead screws, so they spin at the same time. Neat, I guess, but when I took it out of the box, there was another Z motor and a hand-drilled hole for that motor's wires in this electronics box, right through the steel. It's a terrible hole. I mean, if I rub my finger on it, I'd probably cut myself. Tis but a scratch. So if I were to review this machine as it was, let's say I said, hey, you should buy a Creality CRX. It's, it's the next greatest thing. The next greatest thing. Since sliced bananas. And you went and bought it, and you got it, and it was different than this. How am I supposed to recommend for or against something that you'll never see? Because you're not going to see this version of the machine. If we're the beta testers for this machine, they're going to take our recommendations, our advice, and implement them. Or not implement them. I don't know. Creality, I love you. You're doing great things. Your Ender 3 is open source certified. It's amazing. And you've got Naomi Wu doing some community relations. That's great as well, but come on. You almost have a winning recipe right here. Seriously. You just need to let it bake in the oven a little while longer. Chicken's done. <laughs> yes. Add a few more ingredients bake it a little bit longer, and then take your prize-winning printer out of the oven. But for now, I'm done. If a company wanted me to beta test their product, an email, a contract, a negotiation, a pay schedule, a report, sure, I can do that. I can do that really well. But no, that's not what this is. I'm just done. <sighs> oh, I'm frustrated. No, well, Thanks for watching. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. And if you disagree, of course, you'll, you'll let me know in the comments as well. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. And as always, high five.